Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take you longer to accomplish your goal. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow down 100, NASDAQ is up 4, SPs off 10.5, gold contract uh, up 50 cents, 1793.70, silver flat, $24.06 an ounce, light sweet crude down a buck 39. $67.91 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year, up 6 ticks, trading 133.14. 30-year, up 27 ticks at 163.14 in King Dollar. King Dollar down 160 ticks, trading at 92.494. Euro 118, yen 109.74, and the British pound at 138 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you get a slow turn here. I mean, you know, we're at all-time highs. We're right next to them. That's the bottom line. That being said, what we did here is this. Yesterday, well, first off, we made an all-time high with 42 million shares in the SPY. We rolled over yesterday with 56 million. Not down a lot, still at all-time highs. What we had out here today is that you're trying to get to higher price and you failed on price. So we'll see whether they're going to fail on price and volume. It looks like we're going to, because you'd have to close over 451.67. Still not a lot of sellers, there's no doubt, but they're being a little sneaky. There's, there's some selling in here. Um, you got to that higher high today, couldn't hold price, and I don't expect we're going to hold price. And then if we go into the NDX 100, you have the same type of setup. NDX 100 came down yesterday. See the expansion of volume, 32 million on the way down. We're 22 now. Now we could do another 10 million coming into the close. Yesterday, that's exactly what we did. We did we we banged out 10 million coming into the close. That is where the selling comes in. When what happens here? Now this is what's really cool about how timing the trade works. You got over the high of yesterday. So if you're going to have a failure in price and volume, you still have to be below. 32 million shares on volume. Or what ends up happening there, even if we basically pull down and you end up with more than 32 million shares, you'd be basically saying higher prices coming at you again. Why? Because we got over the high of yesterday. So we'll see how this baby's going to shake out coming into the close. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness goes like this. You have the strength right now is Lululemon. That's up 10.5% of $40. You get uh, Peloton up, uh, my God, 9.6% or $9. Moderna's up 8%. Look at these numbers, man. The Nasdaq's not up a lot for these type of numbers, folks. Uh, Moderna's up 8.5%, eight, eight and, and you got analog devices up 3.7%. Taken away from it. Biogen is down 6.3% or $20. You got Regeneron off 3.1% or $21. Activision's down 2.9% or $2. And you get NetEase down 2.4% um, at $88. Let's just look at, let's look at NetEase for a second. So NetEase, the low is 77. The high is 134. We take a look at this. Well, this is like, put this on a two-year. Okay, it's still just in a consolidation. Yeah, the low of that consolidation is 77, though. It can get tested. That's how that baby is set up. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract out here. We have with gold. Gold got down to a price point today of 17.85. We are trading out at 17.94.30. Bottom line, gold still in an ABC structure on the way up with a price projection out here of 17, uh, 18. I'm sorry, 18.94.50, uh, 60 rather. That's 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 the number. And the last time that we were up, uh, just even when we were talking about on the 3rd of September. That had volume there also. We go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX inside the, the gold structure. The GDX right now is down 35 cents. Uh, yesterday, we did volume of uh, 18 million. You're at lower price today with 14. That is going into 43 million. That's what you like to see if you happen to be a, a gold bull. Uh, bottom line is that you, 
you're pulling lower, you're coming into monster strength, and you're doing that with dramatically lighter volume. Silver, we take a look at the silver market. What do we have with the silver market? Right now, December silver is trading up, uh, well, it's flat. 41,000 contracts out here. Um, we rejected lower price today in silver. That was at $23.86. Right now, we're at 2406 And we go to the SLV. We take a look at the SLV out here. What you have with the SLV, that is flat today. It's pulling, well, it, it, yeah, it's flat. Yesterday, we did 16 million shares. We got down to 23.14, 22.14, rather. We got to 22.17 today. You've only done 16 million shares, and you're going into 38 million. So you can see, same with silver, bottom line, no, no sellers on the way back. Notes and bonds. Now, this one, man, just keeps going. It's pretty amazing. We take a look at the 10-year note. What you have is this. The 10-year note right now, up seven ticks. 133.15, you got 1.2 million contracts behind the move. That's big move. No two ways about that. Bottom line continues to want higher price, lower yield. A good old 10 years is going to go after the 134.16. Once again, that's the high that was established out here on August 4th. And then we get into King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar? What we have with King Dollar out here. King Dollar, yesterday made a 50% move higher of the down move retracement gave it up on price today we'll see if there's going to be a nice abc structure on the way down uh, next move i suspect is going to be the lowest swing point which is the 91783 that's how this baby's set up uh intriguing market no doubt we've been laying at highs for a long period of time uh very subtle moves on the way down you just you don't have sellers that's the real bottom line pretty amazing no doubt and we talk about time, folks. Listen to this. This is pretty sick. Well, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, <laughs> this is crazy. 53 years ago, 13 of us went in the Marines, September 9th, 1968. You believe it? I can't believe it. it's 51 years ago, man. And I'm only 50 years old. How the heck does that happen, man? Anyway, I want to say uh, happy uh, birthday. Happy everyone to everyone uh, out there. 50 three years. I can't believe it, man. No, 50. Yeah, 53 years, man. Holy cow. It's a wild one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials uh, down 130. NASDAQ uh, down 6. S&P's off 14. We'll come right back.